You guys won't believe what just arrived. Think, I, take a wild guess of what has arrived. It's for the dogs. <laughs> it, it's been imported from another country. RJ ordered it. You know how RJ is. Korea. He goes all out. He ordered this from Korea. And this thing is just OMG. And we can't wait to use it. Go, leave in the comments what you think it is. Mobile High Squad, check out what just arrived. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. You dogs are so spoiled. OMG, Mabu High Squad. Look at what just came. <laughs> RJ, where did you find this? Oh my. Guys, check it out. Okay, first of all, let me just show you the brand. It's called Keens. Apparently, it's a Korean stroller maker for human beings, but they also created a product for dogs. I'm not sure where it is manufactured, but I ordered it in Korea. Oh, okay. Okay, we don't know if it's a Korean brand. Yeah, it's. A, it, I think it is Korean. Not sure, but it is called Keens. Guys, check this out, this thing. It's crazy. It's like a, it's a stroller. Super smooth. Look at the wheels. Wow. There's a bottom compartment here. So, I mean, getting puppy and dog strollers is very easy. I mean, uh, there are several stores that do sell it, but this is apparently another level because RJ paid a lot for this. See, it's got pockets, leather handles. Um, this entire buggy part comes off and it can become a bag, like you could carry it. It comes with this cover if you wanna add this cover on top, an attachment that goes onto the car so that this can sit in the car. I was moving it and it is so, so smooth. Wow. So this top, this top also goes over the entire the entire like compartment and you can zip it so they stay inside and then also there are little clips see that that can clip onto the dog's uh collars and if wow. you entirely close this one you can open this oh okay it's got a little window how you can cute also, like, get out from here if you want it Oh, okay, yeah. I see. It comes with a little, like yeah. a on both sides. Hello. Oh, there's even a little window on the other side. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so good because then we can give the dogs their morning sun. Oh, I'm gonna do this. I can't wait. <laughs> it took forever to arrive. RJ says it took forever to arrive, guys. This is so funny. Our dogs are spoiled, in case you didn't know. We spoil our animals. Guys, this thing was, it's originally how many thousand pesos? 30,000. Guys, this is usually 30,000 pesos, which is over 600 US dollars, but we got it on discount. How did you get it on discount? It was on sale, guys, so go get it! Hashtag not sponsored! But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it really is a, a step up in terms of quality for dog, um, it's very good quality, that's why I, I, for I dog strollers. There's, I love this compartment at the bottom, you can put things in. It's in these pockets on the side, too, for like cell phones, all of that. Guys, can't wait to take the dogs on, on for a walk. Hey, come on, come here, let's test it, Sahara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put him in. Good boy. Yeah. We should be clipping them in. Yeah, yeah. With their harness. Do you like it? Is it cool? Yeah. <laughs> They're moving around like they don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah, we're gonna go for a walk soon. Yes, guys. Is it cool? I can't wait. Oh my gosh, you know what I realized, guys? I think I'm gonna be shy now. <laughs> to push this down the street. I never thought of that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be shy. Yeah, but you didn't want to buy that. I know, but you have to walk with me. <laughs> I'm shy, guys. Like, can you imagine you see this, like, this man walking down with this, like, luxury stroller and these two dogs inside? Oh my gosh, I'm so shy. So guys, RJ and I don't have kids, so obviously we spoil the dogs. Wow, it's so smooth. I love, I love this. It, it even comes with a lock at the foot. Like, check this out. See this lock? If you lock it, it will not move. And you gotta lift it. And it will move again. Oh, so cool. See, you just press this button and you turn it this way. And then, see? 
it can reconfigure. But oh wow. Do you guys like it, Saiz? <laughs> Sahara? <laughs> Huh? We'll just go back and forth a bit, okay? So you guys get used to the sensation. Do, 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 do. Back and forth. <laughs> back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Nope, no standing on in the car. RJ wants to call this the car. This is not the car. Yes. Yes. Okay, Sarah, sit down. Sorry, Sahara, sit down. Yeah, we have, we have to be okay, yeah, they gotta be clipped. All right, that was awesome. Awesome test drive. Wow, see guys, it's got so many features. That's what it looks like if you would like to turn it into a bag. See, it comes off. Oh, okay. Yeah, There's where you can make it a sling bag. All right, oh wow. What an awesome invention. Now, some of you guys might be like, Hey, those are dogs. They should be walking on the ground. And I agree. Sahara just recently got her last round of shots. But also, I'm a little paranoid to let the dogs kind of run around touching the ground only because of Erlikia. For those of you who are new to the vlogs, first of all, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog. Hit the subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. If you're new to the vlogs, Cypher, our, our oldest dog, spent a, almost a year battling this bacteria called Ehrlichia, which can kill dogs. It gets transferred to the dogs through a tick. Um, and it's endemic here to the Philippines because of the street dogs that roam around. Um, that's their natural reservoir. So the tick bites these dogs, carries that bacteria in them, and then bites another dog, and that new dog then gets it and yeah they could die it like they get a fever they, they get kind of disorientated they lose appetite we couldn't figure out what was going on with cypher and luckily the vet spotted it from his blood work and so like I'm a little bit paranoid now of these ticks that are everywhere. I asked the vet, she says, it's just something all dog owners have to deal with here, it's a risk. So the best thing you can do is make sure they have the tick and flea medication in their blood um, and we can use natural shampoos for getting rid of ticks and fleas. Um, and so that's, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let dogs be dogs, obviously. They should run around on the ground. We can't always protect them, but for the days that we do wish to protect them, they can be here in this awesome stroller! Yeah! <laughs> I love this. And then plus, I can take them to the mall in this. Right, Beth? Can you imagine going to the mall with this? Yeah. I'm a little shy all of a sudden. Would you be shy using this? I think two dogs are ready. <laughs> All right, so guys, they are strapped in. You see that? Both of them are strapped through their harnesses so they can't hop out like in the middle of the stroll. Um, we're also bringing their leashes so we could take each of them for a little bit of a walk. Oops, careful. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. You guys look so cute in there. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun and embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah just doesn't know what to make of this. Guys, it's kind of cloudy, so not too sunny. All right, doggies, yes, the outside world. Okay, the sun came out. It is hot. Ooh, it is warm, but perfect. Oh, I realize now that the Manila landscape is not very easy to... Oh my gosh, now we're learning how to drive a stroller. Parent skills. But it is smooth. It's a smooth ride. You two look so, so cute. <laughs> and RJ, you too. Okay, we have a problem, Houston. Boing. Ow. Um, I think you can go over it. Yeah, as long as it doesn't collapse underneath. Okay, yeah, the backwards. Okay, this is not practical. We really need to like just do it on the street. Yep, that's how to do it. 
There we go. You see, Daddy's so gentle. There you go. Okay. Okay, we're abandoning the sidewalk. All right. Smooth sailing now. It's open ocean from here on in. Now they're getting some true unfiltered sun, not through glass. Hey, Hera, don't try to jump out. Don't worry, I'll take you for a walk soon. Oops. Here's a speed bump. Yep. There we go. In the shade. Guys, welcome to my neighborhood. It's beautiful during the day. It can just get kind of hot. Right now it's the morning, so it's not super hot, but it can get very, very hot. <laughs> Look at RJ <laughs> pushing that stroller. RJ, could you see yourself doing this every day? <laughs> He's like, no, not really. This is just once. I've bought it. I've used it once. It loses its luster and never again. I mean, I would do this. Well, we are going to bring this um, every time we go to the farm or we bring the dogs to the mall, things like that. We will always bring this because the crates are, they're great and we'll definitely use them for transporting the dogs. However, carrying a crate around is not the easiest thing. And the dog kind of wobbles inside the crate too. So um, at least this way, pushing them around is a lot easier. Hey guys! All right, taking Cypher for a stroll. He's excited. Yes, Ice. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about this pavement. I've touched it. It's not scorching hot. Okay, come on, Cypher. Other dogs are barking. Come on. All right, Sahara. Don't worry, you're, it'll be your turn soon. Now, because Cypher and Sahara are like teacup size, um, according to research online, they only need a little bit of exercise like just five to ten minutes will do like literally that's that's good for the day but for larger dogs obviously longer exercise might be needed yeah don't worry sahara it'll be your turn soon she's crying she's jealous she wants to go for a walk okay sahara it's your turn come all right sahara welcome to terra firma guys this is the first time she's like run on the ground Yes, Sahara, I know you will love this. This is called walking on a leash. Yep. All you gotta do is follow me. All right, I'm walking both of them because Cypher was like jealous. He was like trying to get out of the buggy. Okay, okay, together. Okay, let's go as a pack. Let's go. This is really good education for Sahara here. Staying right close next to her brother. Very good. Good girl. Yep. She's a little uncertain at some points. She's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. She kind of stops and resists, but let's go. Come on. Good girl. But it's because she's kind of scared. I think she's unsure. She's never been in this situation before. But for her first time, she's doing pretty good. What do you guys think? Cypher is a pro at this. Good boy, Cypher. Okay, okay. I'm tangled now. Wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go catch up to daddy. Let's go catch up to daddy. Good dogs. I Sarah's trying to go inside. Oh, you want to stay there? Okay. She doesn't want to walk no more. She's like, this is freaky. Okay. Cypher's like, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, are we going to put you guys back in? Yeah. They're tired. Sahara, you found a new functionality. We didn't even know you could do this. <laughs> Apparently, the dogs can go under here too. All right, we're zipping the front, opening the vents. Make sure this is closed though. Uh, so Cypher doesn't jump out. I'm just gonna walk Sahara just a little bit more. Get her used to walking on a leash. It's kind of hard having to do with both. What do you think, Sahara? It's cool, right? You like walking outside? I feel like you're meant for the outdoors. This is totally you. All right, guys, time for positive affirmation of the day for Monday, May the 10th. I read books that enrich my soul and give me food for thought. There is always more to learn. There you go, guys. Continuing your education forever. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Guys, we have a visitor whom we haven't seen for a very long time. Mabu High Squad, check out who's come. <laughs> 